What is up and welcome to my channel. My name is Bonnie Ray and in today's video I wanted to share this super cute milky white nail design with you all. So if y'all are interested in seeing how I accomplish this, make sure you stay tuned. So I'm starting off on freshly manicured nails and if y'all are interested in seeing that routine I'll be sure to link the video that includes that down below. I am using the soft gel medium stiletto tips by red carpet manicure and I'm just sizing them out here just making sure that they fit my actual nail and what I like to do I use my nail drill to actually etch the inside of the nail and this helps with the adhesion we want to make sure our nails last as long as we can at least a good two to three weeks so I just make sure that I etch the inside so that it adheres to my nail easier in addition I use my nail prep dehydrator and my extra strength primer I ordered both of these in a little kit off of Amazon so to start off we're going to add the nail prep dehydrator to all of our nails and then we are going to add the extra strength primer and of course we're going to put on our UV gloves to protect our hands. And the nail glue that I'm using is actually going to be the first time I'm using it. It's the Savilon Nail Extend Blue Gel. Ordered it off of Amazon. I think I featured it in a vlog like a few weeks ago. But this gel is very thick I just want to say. But I am applying it to all of my nails. And then I'm going to use these little cuticle sticks to help like clean up any like gel or any spillage and then I'm going to use my UV lamp to actually cure my little nails that I just added the nail glue to. Next I'm going to apply the nail glue to the actual nail tip. So like I said this gel is a lot thicker uh, so you just want to make sure that you get a good amount onto the gel. I'm sorry, onto the nail <laughs> so that the enough gel actually fills the apex of the nail. So here you can see me apply the nail to my actual fingertip and you can see the gel flowing forward. There are no air bubbles. And then so quickly I'm going to go and cure it under my gooseneck lamp that I ordered off of Amazon. This definitely comes in clutch to make sure that the adhesion is like real swift, real easy. And so I'm gonna do this again. And then y'all can see no air bubbles on those nails like this is this is it right here I really like this thicker gel um, so I definitely am looking forward to using this in my next routine so now I'm just going to cure my nails for uh, I think I did a good 60 seconds to I think maybe two minutes but look at that application like I do have some glue in my cuticles but we're going to actually clean all of that up so here you can see I'm just kind of going around with my nail bit and shaping my nail this is a step that I'm trying to do more frequently so that when my nails grow out it looks a little bit more clean and then I'm actually just taking the nail drill down the length of my nail to um, buff out all that shine so that when I actually apply the nail polish it'll like look all smooth and stuff and here you can see I'm just removing some of that gel spillage um, this is my um, non-dominant hand uh, so yeah this is yeah I, I struggle sometimes <laughs> but it all comes out in the end so look y'all that application is clean listen these steps really work so let's move on so this is the milky white color that I ordered from Amazon. Showed y'all the number in case y'all are interested, but I'll make sure to link everything uh, in my Amazon storefront so y'all can just go ahead and, you know, purchase it all swiftly and easily. I appreciate y'all support. I really, really do. Um, so here y'all can see that first coat is all nice and even. I really, really am in love with this color. So I'm just going to paint all of my nails, make sure that the coat is nice and even, and then I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And look y'all, that is the first coat. So I wanted to make sure y'all were able to see what one coat looks like, because you definitely could rock the one coat as, you know, an actual look. But I wanted to do a design, so I went ahead and 
did a second coat, which y'all are seeing me do now. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for another 60 seconds. And this is the polish color that I'm using for the design. Another Beatles polish, I ordered it from Amazon. And these are my little nail art brushes, also from Amazon. <laughs> so here I am pulling up my inspo pick on Pinterest if y'all are interested uh, be sure to check out my Pinterest page so I'm just gonna take my time while I go through and paint my nails and do this design you know this is definitely something that you know comes with time comes with practice so yeah I just take my time and if I have any like mistakes I just use my little cuticle stick to help clean it all up but I also like to have some alcohol on the side because listen sometimes things just don't come out the way that you want it to and when they don't come out how you want it you just start over so here you see me just pulling off the polish so that I can actually just go ahead and start over because I was not satisfied so I just wanted to show y'all what the real is it doesn't come always come out great the first time sometimes you do have to go back in and try again so yeah I just wanted to share that with y'all because sometimes the expectations that are set with things that you see online aren't always the real real and I just want to give y'all that real real so after I get my design how I want it I go ahead and cure and look at how cute that looks y'all look it's cute <laughs> and so I also wanted y'all to see me paint my right hand because y'all know I'm right-handed so using my left hand is not the easiest thing to do but again you just want to go slow and take your time and this is all in real time so this is really just me trying to be as neat and consistent as possible like my nails aren't identical they don't ever come out identical but they come out cute and that's all we're trying to be here is cute right and especially when you do the abstract designs you can really get away with you know kind of doing what you want because it's, it's abstract it's open to interpretation so these are the designs that are easiest for me and I feel like as a beginner this is definitely something you know that y'all that y'all can do too so after we cure we're just going to take a lint free wipe just with some alcohol just to get any extra like dust and stuff that may have got on our nails and this is the model one's top coat this is also new first time i'm using it so we're just going to take that top coat and we are going to apply it to the length of our finished nail and ooh, look at how smooth the application is like i'm in love with these you know few new things that i've added to my nail routine including that nail glue gel like y'all that stuff is it and this top coat for real so we're gonna go ahead and cure and then we're gonna take another lip free wipe with some alcohol and just get any stickiness off but this one wasn't sticky at all but I just like to make sure that I do those types of things and so I go ahead and wash my hands I put some lotion on my hands as well to rehydrate and moisturize them and then we need to do the same thing with our cuticles so we're going to take the cuticle oil and rehydrate our cuticles so they won't be crusty and so that they can glisten and shine just like this so that is it y'all this is the finished look i think it looks so super cute and if y'all also think that is cute or if y'all enjoyed this video i really do appreciate your support and if y'all would give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below hit the post notification bell join the fam i'd love to have you around and i'll see you in the next video bye